All right, guys, what's going on? It's Zach here from Zinar Productions, and today I'm gonna start like a cooking series. I don't really know what to call it. Comment what you guys want me to call it. I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna call it Messing Up Normal Foods, Episode 1 Ramen Noodles. Um, I love these. My mom doesn't cook dinner or something. I pop these, I make them, but I'm gonna make my remix of them. It's like really nice. Trust me, you know, I'm, I'm Chef Zach. You know, you guys should know that by now, I'm the chef. Um, yeah, and if this video gets to seven likes, right? Seven likes, I'll make episode two. All right, so I'll show you guys. I'll, let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing you guys want to do is you want to get you want to get your like tap water on, so like a nice hot temperature. Let me check. I'm gonna wait for that to heat up. So while you wait for that to boil, you just want to prep your ramen. So just, you know, put it in the bowl. I like breaking it up when I put it in. So that, um, oh shoot. Well, that fell. Alright. So, I like breaking it up when I put it in because it, um, so it fits in the bowl better. And then you want to take your flavoring right here and then just pour that in. So now I have hot water. Like I, I can't really put my hand in it for that long. We're just hot. So you just want to take like whatever you boil your water in. I do this so that it takes less time to boil the water. So you just want to fill it up to, I do like two cups-ish. So this is, this right now is at three. So I'll just jump, dump out a teeny weeny bit so that it boils faster. And click on the boil. So it's at above two cups. And I do this so that like when you do it with the ramen, um, the flavor isn't diluted and it's really nice. So I have the flavoring. You just want to apply it gently to it and just leave it like that. But like put it down so it doesn't fall out or anything. And then bring it over to your boiled water. See there's steam coming out. So you just want to take it out. While it's boiling, and you don't want to put too much water. That's the key, so you can get a better flavor. And especially for this, we're really, we're draining out most of the water anyway to make, you know, the specialness of it. And then you just want to wait three minutes. You know, follow the directions of normal ramen. So it's been a little bit, and I'm still like stirring it around to get it to the perfect. I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm getting hungry. All right. All right, so now I have my finished noodles, and what you want to do is get out a strainer, to strain out all of like the soup from the actual ramen. You could probably do it without this, but all right. So, and take this and just put it back here. So now you have your ramen and your soup separated. So for seasoning, what you need is some ketchup. Um, adobo allspice, some your favorite hot sauce of your choice, basil leaves, oregano, and ground pepper. So I like my thing spicy, so I'm gonna put you know, a decent amount of hot sauce on there. We want to do is stir the hot sauce ramen up so that you know you get everything distributed evenly so because this isn't like sriracha or something it's not going to get too red of a color but it's the, like because this is like a really concentrated hot sauce but you want it to get like you know reddish so you just want to put a little bit of your ketchup not too much and i'll tell you one thing ketchup on anything makes it good like ketchup goes good with anything that it's like savory Ketchup and like meat, ketchup and eggs. Every ketchup makes everything good. So with ramen, it makes it taste awesome. So you just want to mix all of it up, real nice and evenly. Now allspice is really strong, but if you use it right, it's great. So you just want to put like a tiny little dab of it. Like, let's see, just like that much. Let's focus. So you want to mix that. I should get it all off the fork.
Now it's time for the professional plating. So you want to take this, this ugly plate and you want to put it in a more elegant plate. So as you can see, just take it like this, make like a nice mound in it so that you will close up. So you want it to look like that, and then take your oregano and basil. So you want to take them and the sprinkle, you know, just it's like a garnish. It's like that with the basil. And with the oregano, just the same amount. And they do add flavor. And an optional step is black pepper to taste. A little bit of black pepper so this is the final product of the whole entire thing it may look and sound disgusting but trust me if you do it right it will taste really good so I'm just gonna eat it for you guys I want to take your ramen It's so spicy, but it's so good. Honestly, I recommend giving this a try. Like, if you like spicy food, I'd recommend it. Maybe if you don't like spicy food, don't add the hot sauce, or maybe just a tiny bit. But like, it tastes nice. It's really easy to make, it's like five minutes. And it's like ramen, but if you're bored of ramen, spice it up, just make my special recipe. Alright guys, so hope you guys enjoyed, um, if you guys want another cooking video, like I said, 7 likes and I'll make another one, and you guys should comment what you guys want me to ruin, um, and also, shout out to two, um, friends, a new channel, one of them is called El Padre, sorry, you thought I scammed you, but really I didn't, um, yeah, he makes gaming videos and stuff, and another one is called Keegan Cooks, we made a collab, but we couldn't, we couldn't um, post it, and, he he does cooking videos like like this one basically and he does like real cooking videos funny cooking videos i don't know he's great and he's like check both of those channels out please all right thanks all right peace